Theresa May begun a two year long game of deal or no deal. Here's what Britain could walk away with. All right, where to start? Box number three, May's jackpot. This is Theresa May's dream. We leave the single market. We get a free trade agreement that allows our businesses to carry on trading and tariff free. We get controls on immigration and we don't pay a single penny. The problem is of course, this deal's too good. Too many other EU countries might wanna leave too. This one's off the table. All right, what's next? Box number two, EU's jackpot. In this one, we stay in the single market in the customs union. We carry on with freedom of movement. We carry on paying in. We basically stay as is. This one is definitely off the table. Theresa May has already said that she wants us to leave the single market and to have controls on immigration. So with deals two and three off the table, we've got number one, compromise. How about some kind of compromise? We allow the banking sector in the UK to continue as is. We look after the manufacturing sector and keep Nissan happy, but we do pay a bit of money into the pot. We don't have freedom of movement, but we keep some of the rules and regulations. The problem is even with this great compromise, we have to get the EU parliament and British parliament to vote. Yeah, okay. The votes don't go through. This one's also off the table. So deals one, two and three are off the table. What's left? No deal. No deal is a pretty scary option. That means WTO tariffs. That's like 40% on wine and 10% on cars. That would have real consequences for jobs in this country and would cost us a lot more than it would cost the EU. This is a risk we just don't want to take. Theresa May is playing a political game with our futures. We need to start being honest about the negotiating power the UK has with a market seven times our size. We want the best deal for the UK and we're gonna have to make compromises, but we have to make sure those compromises aren't made off the backs of the poorest.